Some Apple enthusiasts were disappointed to hear that Apple won't be unveiling any new hardware at WWDC 2024. Where are the M4 MacBooks? Where's the AirPods Max 2? I understand the anticipation for the iPhone 16 series, especially with the rumored larger displays and ultra-thin bezels on the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max. The 18 Pro chip is also expected to elevate performance to new heights. However, iOS 18 is shaping up to be a game changer, especially for those with the latest iPhone 15 Pro models. With Apple's focus on AI features, iOS 18 is set to revolutionize user experience. Apple's own version of AI, dubbed Apple Intelligence, is said to prioritize on-device processing and privacy. Here are seven reasons why iOS 18 might steal the spotlight from the new iPhone 16 lineup. According to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, AI summaries will play a significant role in iOS 18, and likely in iPadOS 18 and macOS 15. Your iPhone will be able to summarize articles in Safari, as well as condense media notes, text messages, and emails. Additionally, Apple is set to introduce a catch-up feature for missed notifications, which will help users manage overwhelming alerts. Despite Siri's history of shortcomings, the virtual assistant is expected to receive a major upgrade with AI and advanced language models. Siri 2.0 will offer improved voice control for tasks like deleting emails and editing photos, along with a more natural-sounding voice. Users will also be able to perform actions like opening documents, sharing web links, and requesting article summaries through voice commands. Eventually, third-party apps will also be accessible through voice control. In May, Bloomberg revealed that Apple plans to introduce AI tools to the Photos app, allowing users to enhance images and remove objects or subjects. The most exciting feature is the ability to create custom emojis on the fly in iOS 18. These emojis will be generated based on your message's app texts. This unique feature sets Apple apart from competitors like Samsung's Galaxy AI. If you find the grid-based layout of iOS limiting, there's good news. According to German, users will soon have the freedom to place app icons anywhere on their home screens. You can even customize the icon colors for a truly personalized experience. While Apple may be lagging behind Google and Samsung, the upcoming upgrades are still welcome. The Voice Memos app is expected to automatically transcribe voice recordings, eliminating the need for third-party apps like Otter.i. Additionally, rumors suggest that the Notes app may include a built-in voice recorder, allowing users to keep written and voice notes in one place. Both the Information and Bloomberg have hinted at a potential partnership between Apple and OpenAI at WWDC 2024. This collaboration could bring ChatGPT4 functionality to the iPhone, bridging the gap with Google Gemini. Users may soon enjoy the full ChatGPT chatbot experience, although it remains uncertain if Apple will enable access to the new voice functionality or impressive vision features. Control Center is designed for quick shortcuts to save time, so why not let users customize it? iOS 18 is rumored to introduce a new interface that allows users to place shortcut buttons wherever they prefer, even on different pages. Additionally, new widgets are expected for music playback and controlling smart home devices. With the arrival of the new iPhone 16 models this year, Apple will once again shuffle its lineup, introducing new phones, discounting some existing ones, and discontinuing others. However, the upcoming iOS 18 update is changing things up a bit. It's expected that Apple's software update will focus on incorporating new features driven by artificial intelligence. Rumors suggest that some current iPhones may not have the processing power to support these features without offloading them to the cloud. If this is the case, Apple may need to reconsider which iPhones remain in its lineup post-launch to ensure that most devices offer the best iOS 18 experience with on-device AI capabilities. iOS 18 is set to make its debut just before the launch of the highly anticipated iPhone 16. However, we won't have to wait long to get a sneak peek at the upcoming software update, as it will be showcased next week at WWDC 2024. As mentioned earlier, iOS 18 will come packed with a plethora of exciting AI features. Unfortunately, not all of these features will be compatible with every device. In an ideal world, every feature would seamlessly run on your iPhone, ensuring the utmost security by keeping your information solely on your device and providing faster performance without relying on cloud-based servers. 
Apple has been vocal about their preference for on-device capabilities over cloud-dependent ones. However, the reality is that older devices may not have the necessary processing power to handle these on-device features that Apple is working on. According to reports, only iPhones equipped with an A17 Pro chipset or later will be able to fully utilize these features. Currently, this means that only the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max will be capable of running iOS 18 to its fullest potential. It is expected that all the new iPhone 16 models will come with some variation of the yet-to-be-announced A18 Silicon. The performance gap between on-device AI and cloud-based features is a burning question that I hope Apple addresses during WUDC. However, based on the information available, it seems that unless you have an iPhone 15 Pro or plan on upgrading to one of the new iPhone 16 models, you may not be able to experience the full extent of iOS 18. If this holds true, I believe Apple should consider adjusting their phone lineup accordingly. If the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max can handle all the amazing A features of iOS 18 without relying on the cloud, Apple should definitely keep them in the lineup even after the iPhone 16 models are released. By offering the current Pro for $899 and the Pro Max for $1,099, Apple is giving potential customers a great discount without compromising the sales of the iPhone 16 Pro. It's a win-win situation. Now, Apple could also keep the iPhone 15 around with its usual $100 discount. However, if the AI experience on iOS 18 isn't as impressive on these older models compared to the newer ones, I personally believe a $200 markdown would be more appropriate. But hey, a person can always dream of getting a great deal, right? On another note, I don't see the point of keeping the iPhone 14 in the lineup, especially if it's going to heavily rely on the cloud for optimal performance. It just doesn't make sense. Apple should focus on devices that can fully utilize on-device AI, which according to the rumors, would be the A17 and A18 equipped handsets. Of course, all of this is assuming that the rumors about iOS 18 are accurate. If they're not, then Apple should just stick to their usual business strategy. But if the rumors are true, Apple's future phone lineup should definitely showcase their vision for AI on the iPhone. It's an exciting prospect. Apple is truly committed to making technology accessible to everyone. With iOS 18 shaping up to be a significant update, even current iPhone models will benefit from its new capabilities. We can't wait to learn more about the update in the coming months leading up to WWDC 2024 on June 10. Especially intriguing is how Apple plans to expand the AI-driven capabilities of its phones. So stay tuned to our channel for more exciting details, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care.